You don't always have to create apps from the ground up. Sometimes you can build off of technologies that already exist. Here's how to find app ideas that leverage third-party integrations. My name is Dale Richards. I'm a software product innovator in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I love building software that changes the world. Okay, in the last video, we were exploring some interesting app ideas related to dental practice management. So things like insurance claims and marketing and finding administrative staff. So that got me thinking, I wonder if there are third party tools out there that have what we call an exposed API or an application programming interface that we could use to build new tools for dental office managers. Just so you know, the term API stands for application programming interface. And what it's like, it's kind of like a touch point between one system and another system. A lot of companies will put their APIs out there and make them available for other developers to access. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to search for dental insurance API. The first result here is called wonderful dental insurance eligibility API. That's interesting. What's their main uh, value proposition? Get a patient's dental insurance status and detailed benefit information from over 240 dental insurances within seconds. So that's cool. It sounds like they have access to lots of different dental insurance providers and they can kind of push data to them and pull data from them. So let's explore the site a little bit more to find out what they can offer us. All right, why wonderful? You can use it to verify insurance in real time when confirming patient appointments. You can provide insurance context in automated recalls and properly estimate insurance coverage when billing patients. Uh, let's look at the documentation itself. Now, API documentation is really written for the developer in most cases. And so sometimes API documentation can be really technical. So you kind of have to learn how to read through it and find the most valuable information. If a company that has a third party API is courteous, they'll also put some language in their API documentation that a business user can understand. And that's me, I'm not you know, that technical and I don't like reading technical stuff. So it looks like they have this eligibility endpoint. So they want to be able to say, hey, wonderful, tell me if this patient is eligible for insurance benefits. So you can basically say, here's the patient and get the information and the eligibility back. Then they offer this eligibility payer list. So it looks like these are all of the insurance companies that wonderful has already integrated with very cool there's a lot of them right over 250 and these are big names so that's exciting the eligibility request so they kind of go into what fields you have to send and get receive etc so basically you know you need to know the name the social of that person things like that now this is really awesome wonderful has really well developed api documentation i've worked with apis in the past that had almost no documentation so the fact that Wonderful has this information available means that they really want to work with you and have you integrate with them. So let's look at this first, uh, this first question in the FAQ. Why should I integrate Wonderful's verification API? And thanks to them again, they've got a general explanation and a developer's explanation. So one thing that jumped out to me is this statement right here. Many of our clients, software companies, come to us because their partner dental offices spend way too much time, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so their clients are software companies. So these are most likely existing dental practice management solutions. So the trick here is going to be to say, how can we leverage this API to either accomplish something new that nobody else is doing, or how can we find a dental practice management solution where we can bridge some kind of gap? And what that gap is, isn't that clear yet. So I've added an item to the idea log called predictive dental insurance verification. So basically the concept here is that we verify the patient's insurance, we provide insight into working with that specific insurance carrier. The problem or opportunity statement here is that the billing specialist can't see online reviews or complaints or really see any kind of likeliness of the insurance carrier to pay. They don't know what to expect in terms of claim processing time. The user persona here is the dental billing administrator in a dental practice earning more than $1.5 million per year. All right, there you go. New idea, really simple. I've gotten it from uh, just searching for dental insurance API. I found a third party API from Wonderful. I read a little bit about them. I've come up with a lead on what we could do to create our own product and I'm ready to rock. If you like this video and you don't want to miss other ways of finding app ideas, make sure that you subscribe, 
hit the notification bell and join our Facebook group, How to Create an MVP, Build Your SaaS. We will see you there and we will see you next time.